we will discuss two methods to display time code on a video and this will be helpful when you share your work with your collaborators for feedback. I go to file, export, media. I switch to FX tab and scroll down and check time code overlay. I can select the position, location, size and the background opacity of the time code display. Time code starts from zero from the beginning of the timeline which is being exported and matches the frame rate of the timeline. Once I export, I will have the burned time code on the video. But the time code is not displayed inside my project. To display the time code in my project, I go to File, New, Transparent Video. I make sure the time base matches with the frame rate of my timeline. I insert the transparent video on the top track of my timeline and extend it to cover the entire length of the timeline. Now I go to the effects panel and add the effect time code onto the transparent video. Now I go to the FX control panel. I select the source as clip. I can also modify the position, size, background opacity and the field symbol of the time code display. Now this time code displayed on my monitor will appear in the exported video as well. Now coming back to the advanced settings of displaying time code from the export settings. In case I need to change the start of my time code, I can specify an offset. This is useful when I'm not exporting from the start of my timeline and I want my time code to start from zero. I can use a generate option in case I need to start the timeline from a specified time code value. I can also use an alternative frame rate or display just the frame number. Coming back to the advanced settings of time code effect, the most important setting of time code is format. Most digital edits use SMTP or frames as time code. Motion picture films use feet plus frames. The time code effect can be applied on any clip on my timeline. Using the generate option, I can specify a start for the time code. Using the clip option, I can start the time code from zero. Using the media option, I can display the time code starting from the in point on the timeline. I can specify an offset of frames in case I need to adjust the start of the time code. In case I'm using a transparent video and I want to display the time code of a different clip on a different track, I can use the track option. Hope this video was useful to you. If you have more questions, feel free to ask in the comment box. See you next time. Until then, bye.